This is Grown Man Game Reviews. So, Fall Guys Season 2 has dropped. And it's the same fun game, but this time around infused with a medieval fictional theme with orc and wizard costumes, among a bunch of other new cosmetics you can earn through playing the game. It's, a, it's amazing. And again, you're not forced to purchase these things through a season pass or some money grab of a game shop. Don't sass me. And I want you this Kudos to Mediatonic. So let's take a little deeper look into what makes Fall Guys second season different from the first and whether it's worth diving back into if you stepped away. Let me in. Let me in. Season two has added some new mini games to an already amusing list from the previous season. There's Night Fever, which is another obstacle course, but again, sticking to the new medieval theme. Then there's Egg Siege, which is a revamp of the previous egg hogging mode, Egg Scramble. Then there's Wall Guys, where you climb over pillars, walls, and even other players to make your way to the finish line. And finally, there's Hoopsie Legend, where you try to jump through random hoops popping up around the map. They're all well and fun, and even a little nerve wracking. I feel like they're all great additions and mesh well with the other mini games. I just wish they'd get rid of Perfect Match. It's the least fun and the easiest to win game, usually leaving only one or two players kick when the round's over. They got some new medieval theme cosmetics along with some new colors you can earn this season, or you can purchase them with coins you've earned through playing the game. They're all cool new ways to separate yourself from the crowd and make your Fall Guy stand out. I will a $15,000 Rolex! They've also added banners and new nicknames to the game this season. These features make sense seeing that most multiplayer games have some version of this, but they're really not something I find compelling enough to grind for. Hard pass. <laughs> If I earn a nickname or a banner throughout the season, I'll equip it, but I'd be hard pressed to spend any of my hard earned crowns or coins on them. Another thing they added are new twists to all the old mini games. I love this addition by Mediatonic. It proves that they really want to keep this game fun and interesting, even when playing a map you thought was tried and true. From replacing tumbling balls with rolling logs on Slime Climb, to adding a random hammer to launch you towards the end of a map like Seesaw or Dizzy Heights, the developers are finding quirky ways to keep you on your toes. Do it! I believe in you. My concerns with Season 2 are that some of these old games might start getting long in the tooth. Even with the minor changes on some of the old games, I'm still a little worried that they'll start feeling boring. I already find myself dreading when I see DoorDash or Fruit Shoot pop up. I fear that I'll start feeling the same way towards other games as time progresses. Boring! Come on! You gotta keep it interesting. Interest me. Now, the next problem could just be an issue on my end, but I've seen some connectivity issues pop up recently kicking me from games after I've made it to the finish line, and even kicking me from games when I've made it all the way to the last round. This is extremely frustrating when it already feels like this season is much harder to win the crown than in the previous season. I hope they remedy this quick because no one likes to be on the winning end of a hit parade just to see a pop-up that says you lost connection to the server. What? <laughs> Another thing that seems just a little useless are these banners and nicknames. Uh, to me, they're kind of pointless. They're, they're less interesting ways to stand out and just seem like another way for players to spend their hard-earned coins. I get that Mediatonic wants to add more layers to the game, and honestly, I'm really not mad at them for that. I'm just not sure if this is the best option. I could easily think of a few other ways for players to express themselves. Is this this man? What was that? Macho Man Randy Savage? It happened so fast you can't even talk about it. Lucky person, yeah. Other than a new banner. Overall, Fall Guys is proving with their second season that the game is not just a flash in a pan, and the developers are committed to keeping this game fun and unique among a multiplayer world filled with first-person shooters and survival games. Falcon 1, do we have a go? The light is green, Tiger 1. What are you gonna say when he crashed through the window? Hey there, sorry for dropping in. Goosebumps, Jake. Goosebumps. 
If this season is indicative of things to come, I believe Fall Guys could have a future as bright as the mini maps they're littered with. The fact that Mediatonic is still keeping everything free and fun makes Fall Guys an easy game to stick with as it evolves. The new theme is cool and I can't wait to see what themes they dive into in the future. Until then, I'll just be here in Season 2 still trying to find my way to my first crown. I hope you enjoyed the review of Fall Guys Season 2. If you did, then you know what to do. Hit the like button, comment below your thoughts on the new season, and subscribe if you want more in the future. Until then, peace out.